Hi, this is Lance Grow. Today we're introducing a new innovative technology called Autodesk Force Effect, powered by Autodesk Simulation. Autodesk Force Effect is a new conceptual simulation tool that will enable the users to create multiple iterations of a design concept early in the process, leveraging their simulation technology. So let's go ahead and launch the app. So as you can see here, we start by creating a new diagram. We have some common tools at the, cross, the top of the screen here for adding documents, undo, redo, zooming, generating reports, changing units, and getting help. We've got our editing and creation tools on the left of the screen here. We'll start by simply drawing an element. You can see that the dimensions are automatically shown. The points are automatically labeled for reference. We have automatic snapping to various points, inferencing to existing points, as well as midpoints. We've added some editing capability to make sure that the dimensions and the labels are always visible. Now that we've got our basic structure, we can simply add our supports. And you'll notice at the top of the right hand screen, we've got what we call our degrees of freedom indicator. This is an indication of whether the system is statically determinate, over constrained, or under constrained and unsolvable. When it's red in its current state, it is unsolvable, so we need to add another element. And notice that the system is showing us that the elements are fully constrained, and we have a degrees of freedom indicator that's showing a green status, meaning this problem is statically determinant and solvable. Now we can simply add a force. We'll add a force at B. Notice that the force is reflective of direction, will snap orthogonally, and will change the magnitude as you slide your finger. And what's powerful about the iteration capability of this tool is that once the problem is set up, the user never has to go back and reset up the problem. They can simply focus on their design iteration at this point. And as you'll see, as I go into edit mode, I can change, move the geometry, I can move the force, and notice the calculations automatically update. One other really powerful capability of this tool is the ability to analyze the calculation results. So you can see at the top of the screen we have a report button. This will generate an HTML-based report that will show you the solution for your structure. It will show you all of the inputs, the elements, their lengths, as well as the forces, and the reaction forces that were calculated by the system. But one of the other really useful capabilities is when your system is statically determinate, we'll actually generate these um, math equations and show you how the equations are computed to come up with the results that we're showing. Notice that the system also will isolate each of the individual members in the system and show the equations for those members as well as their reactions. So a very powerful way to get an overview of the reaction forces and moments across your system in a static structure. User also has the ability to send the diagram by email. It's an HTML-based report and can be leveraged by anybody with an HTML-supported browser. One of the other powerful capabilities and innovative approaches we've used in this product is the ability to solve over-constrained systems. If we were to go in here and add some additional support members, we can see that the degrees of freedom indicator is now giving us an indication that we have an over-constrained system. However, we're able to solve the system with ease and in real time. Notice as I isolate individual members in the structure, I can get a visual reference for rather the member's intention, like this member, or compression. I can also see the reaction forces across just a member, and by clicking away from the model I get the reaction forces across the supports. So again, a very powerful solution for solving not only statically determinate problems, but also over-constrained problems, which are typically very difficult to wrestle.